days ago, they lost everything when a fire took over their mobile home. Now a York County family is learning just how kind strangers can be. Telling your sides, Erin Kelly brings us a story of a community determined to give them a fresh start. William Alley says he never knew the little things could be so important, so meaningful, not until he lost his home and almost lost his fiance. I've never met a nicer person. Oh, it's not just me, it's the whole county. Come on. This hug wasn't just for Sherry Hackey, but for all of the people behind all of these bags. Hi. Hello. I brought more stuff. I mean, it's just amazing. We've had 64 people come and donate items so far. William Alley lost his mobile home Monday in a fire off Route 17. And he nearly lost his fiance, who was trapped in the bedroom and banging on the wall after going back to get the family dog. To say, I don't want to die here, I don't want to die here. The fire department says bystanders pulled off the side of the home to get to her and started CPR. Crews airlifted her to the hospital where she's been recovering. Her sister and five kids, ages three to nine, made it out safely. At first, I was. Everything is gone. One of the kids asked me, I want my jacket. The jacket and everything else was gone. And I just sat there and watched the fire and I had tears streaming down my face. Sherry Hackey and others in York County organized a donation drive and people haven't stopped coming by her yarn shop to help. I have no idea what it would be like to be forced out of my home with no shoes no chains of clothing, not knowing where food was coming from. But days after, one of their worst days. You got toys, go see the toys. Allie and the children are starting over. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're heroes. With not just new toys, but a newfound appreciation of the kindness of strangers, helping to make their family whole again. Organizers of the donation drive say they have an account set up at a local bank. They want to help the family get a new home. They also plan to sell any clothing items the family doesn't need in a yard sale and give them that money, too. Now, if you'd like to help, visit our website and click on this story. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.